Hello again, firewood fanatics. It's Mike with k &L Firewood. Today we're gonna do a few things in the wood yard. It's too windy outside to do my opener out there. So we'll just do it here. Uh, we're gonna buck up some logs today. We're gonna run the Easton made axis a little bit. We're gonna cut down some IBC totes. Uh, we're just gonna get a few things done, kind of like always. I uh, appreciate you being here. And we'll see you at the end, thank you. So I've been out here today uh, doing some splitting. I got a IBC tote here of mixed species. There's some ash, maple, I think willow, and poplar there on top. Most of it's been sitting in the log form for close to a year, I suppose. And then I've got the IBC tote there. The stuff we're gonna throw in the boiler. Just as I'm splitting this stuff, if it's punky or there's a crotch or something in it, I'll, I'll toss it over there. It'll burn in our boiler just fine. I'm not picky. You guys have not seen it yet, but this is my homemade bucking table. Uh, all that wood was free, but I got it from a guy down the road. He was tearing down an old dog kennel or something. He took it all apart and just brought me the lumber, which was great. So I made my roadside stand and this bucking table all out of free wood. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna get to bucking some here in a little bit. I'll put that on the camera. And then I've got all my cookies down here. Some of those I'll keep because they're big enough to put in the boiler, but uh, I do have a pretty good pile of cookies back there in the back. Um, Chris sells his. Uh, I don't know that I've got a market for mine yet, but we'll, we'll try and, if not, we'll burn them in the campfire. You know what I mean? Not gonna go to waste. And the other thing I did today I had a guy call me yesterday that was wanting some, a couple cherry bundles for smoking. I honestly don't have that much cherry. I've got maybe a half a IBC tote, but it's good and seasoned and dry. Uh, I told him I'd put him a couple together. He said he'd come by this weekend. So I got those things sold, I think too. And I didn't charge him any more than what I'm charging here at the house or at the grocery store. Do you think I should for smoking wood? What do you think? And I got the MS210 back, a uh, new carburetor and all. All right, so I'm out of IBC totes that are cut and ready for firewood. I've got several out there that I need to break down. Uh, we're gonna cut this one, and I'm gonna cut that one. And I've got one outside that's completely intact. We'll take that one apart together. I've seen guys cut these down with grinders, and I tried that but it's super slow. Um, this uh, saw is the way to do it. Anyway, here we go. Turn your volume down because this is probably gonna be loud. Ready for some KNL firewood now. All right, we're out here at this IBC tote. Gonna take those arms off the top, dump the bladder out, and cut this guy down too. So 
Sometimes these things can be tricky to get out, but it looks like this one's going to be pretty easy. Sometimes you got to cut that little guy with a pair of tin snips or something. Now, Matty May Farms says he cuts these in half and uses them as a roof on top of his wood inside of an IBC tote. So I think I'm gonna try that and I'm assuming he means half on the diagonal. But I'm not gonna do that on camera. That's his idea. You can go to his channel and watch that happen. I'm gonna try it, but it's probably gonna be a disaster. So we'll watch him do it and see how the pro does it. I don't know if you can see it but this little jobby right here is part of this what's called a cut right design fits on just like that it's a measuring device this thing is pretty rigid uh, it's called cut right c-u-t-e dash r-i-t-e i think that's how i measure my stuff to length and i'll go to when i Fill up my gas and my oil. I like to brush all the crap off the top. I'll go to Hobby Lobby or something and get uh, paint brushes for fairly cheap. I like the stiff, stiff brush. I know they make one especially for this, but I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby for cheaper. <laughs>
Right, you guys i think that's going to wrap it up for today uh please hit the like button subscribe tell a friend it means a lot to us when you when you guys do that and man i just love this community everybody is so positive and i've learned so much from you guys i appreciate you guys coming by i'll keep putting out content if there's something you want to see let me know and like always get to work because this stuff does not split itself <laughs>